Hi there, it's Robert Bruce Anderson and I'm in one of the last, second last or last, third last video on the content creation series. And this is the point where it gets to be so boring. Um, you now using long tail keywords uh, to create pages that are still important, but you're chasing numbers down here that... Um, and you've got to mix this up, by the way. Right now, I'm in all these potty training ones. Don't just stick to potty training ones. Choose from all of your silo structures that you found earlier, your core keywords. Get your long tail titles. Plan them all out. Put them in a, in a, in a, in a group of keywords. Um, in fact, give me a sec. I'll find you one I did for myself. One second. Okay, so I don't want to search for too long, but here's a bunch. Um, here are crafts to make and sell. So I literally would go online on eBay for fundraiser at school, etc. And had I gone to this much trouble of writing this many posts and pages, believe me, I would have done great. Nautical crafts to make and sell. No so Crafts to make and sell on Etsy, okay? One example. Here's another one. Quick money making ideas. Ideas for making money. They're all medium to low searches, three, four hundred at a time. But if you did one of these a day and each one came with a video and and a what's the thing on google plus called a hangout and you then made i don't know even a little meme or a cool picture or a thing on that and you shared it all socially and you did that every single day i promise you your site is going to fly here's another one that i kind of put this up in a funny way back then so you know if i did this it'll sort it out a bit better and you could see um, but it's basically where you're still using, I'm going to close them all people. So you're still using your, uh, your keywords, but it's all long tail keywords. And it's basically there to power up the internal linking to your core pages and it's fun stuff. So, um, where I kind of moaned in the beginning of this video is so the boring stage is, is that, you know, how many times can you speak about puppy potty training how many times can you speak about crafts to make and sell how many times can you speak about content creation for for wordpress how to create content um, you know in my case i've been doing it for eight years training clients training people creating courses and as much as i love it uh, i'm not too keen on writing it anymore i quite enjoy talking about it as you can hear my videos are far longer than the pdf that came with this um, but that's exactly the point, is you're going to gain more news out of my videos than you will from the bit I wrote. It's exactly meant to help you out there. But you have to just get over the fact that you're talking about the th same thing over and over and find a way to put a twist to it. Could it get a cool image? Try not to use the same images over and over again, or your website's just going to become boring to people. And they're going to think, I really don't need this. Um, later on, by the way, I am going to show you, and not in this course, on my small business opportunities website ways to create content in other places that so it's still your content and your subject but it's effectively it's for backlinking so let's say this course that I've got in this PDF form if I put it into a, a PowerPoint presentation and went and put it up onto a slide share and I then get a cool backlink to the page where this course is on the content creation course and I could put it onto three or four slide share sharing places. I could then take the PDF and put it free, for free, up on, or better still, half of the PDF, where they read more on it, um, and then a click to come and get it on the page, um, because I see that I've allowed you to just download it for free at the moment, whereas in truth, I should go back and make you share it. In fact, I'll do that still. So as I get the Facebook sharing, etc., or Twitter, but can you see, it's all about there's other ways of bringing in and still, sadly, using the same content over and over again that you out there letting the world know where you are because you're in everywhere. Um, this entire series I'm planning to run through um, in a how to start a business series. So all of these videos are for if you already started your business, you're now working on your website and they, that's why they're all for free. My how to start a woodworking business, how to start a coffee shop business, how to start a hair care business. I'm going to do hundreds of those. Obviously, I'm going to do keyword research. I have a feeling catering business is the, one of the most popular. So even in catering, there's how to start a wedding cake business. And I would do 
a PDF and a mind map and videos for that, you see, and those will be for sale. And they're going to eventually be many of them on my website. Um, within the next year, I'm hoping to do as many as 100. Actually, I lie. That's more than two a week. I can't cope with that fast. So 30 or 40 a year. Um, but once that's done, they, they will each will have a Kindle book, and that in itself will drive traffic. So as you can see, um, there are ways of powering up your content in different forms so that it still boosts the original content on your site. Now, all of that would depend on your niche. If you're a local plumber, it's hardly likely that you're going to get thousands of people um, coming to buy your plumbing service from, let's say, if I'm in South Africa, from New York, because they found a book on Kindle talking about, I don't know, a plumbing love story, or at least how to change your taps yourself. So certain niches aren't going to work, but yes, um, others like this one of mine will work very well, and so it's all cool. Okay, so it's really just taking all your long tail keywords and filling out all of the pages and posts as you go. You don't really need posts or pages, by the way this at this point it's pretty much about posts um, one last thing is you could take these posts I belong to a place called oh, it doesn't matter I've forgotten it's not it's, it's out of my head right now you will find it in here um, it's called spin rewriter I think where and I've got videos on how to spin a post what you could do is when you've written content join a spin rewriter or do it by hand and spin your pages and then you take them and you post them on web 2o property so you open a few blogger posts uh, websites and a few hub pages and you just go out there and every time you make a page for your website and you've made the video and you've done your hangout you then take that same piece of content 300 words and you spin it and you've now got 15 versions of that and you go and physically link all of them back to your page and you start to use very smart backlinking techniques and that will be extremely good for your website those backlinking tricks will be on another video in the future but it is about how to use your content um, incidentally you could use cheat spun content um, it's a little dangerous uh, there'll be a time if not already that google is smart enough to recognize that it's crap in fact if you remember correctly somewhere earlier today i told you that you need to take care and make sure you have good spelling and good grammar on your pages for Google to give you credit for that. And that's part of how they're doing it to stop poorly spun content. Okay, sorry about life going on here, guys, dogs and TVs going on. It's hardly serious. You're here to learn. And if you get to live my life with me at the same time, it's cool. I've got one or two left. Let's get on and do it. Cheers.